<laughs> Lovely, John, mate. Just tricked you there. That's got to be with you, especially on the time you come out of the phone. And this is kind of a heavy lad. Especially when I don't have to go. Oh, Jesus. See, I told her, trying to get just me. Just get it started, he right. says. No, she was trying to get it. I didn't actually precisely say that. She was trying to do me up. Right, happy hour, people. And it is happy hour for Michelle every day in this bar. <laughs> right, pineapple margarita, goz. So we were looking this up because we was having a little bit of a discussion about what this actually is. Having um, a minor argument. Yeah, it's kind tree. of been described as a sour wheat beer. Yeah. Uh, there's been a number of different ex um, explanations way, to what it is. Yeah, ways of explaining what this actually is. So, so it's Wiper and True, our friends in Bristol. I know we're working through their bloody um, mm. birthday ones, but these are more intriguing to us, and we've always they been are, kind of different. Yeah. So, <laughs> just like bollocks to the birthday beers, we're doing these ones. Right, Happy Hour is inspired by a twist on the Mexican cocktail. Bursting with sharp fruity flavours, tropical and tart, pineapple plays against a tart kick. 48 hours of kettle souring, with balanced salty from sea salt, instant refreshment in a can. Store and serve chilled, our beer is unfiltered and may contain sediment poured gently. Mm. We had an apricot sour from them the other day, it delivered. We've done our, although it's not up yet, we've done the coconut stout birthday beer. Yeah. It delivered the collaboration with North Bruin that was that delivered. We also done the one with Vault City, the sour. It delivered. So yeah, hopefully um, <clears throat> this delivers too. I've got more of these to do as well. So let's get it in. 440 mil can, by the way. And as I said, what was it? 5.5. Oh, 5 percent. This one. Yeah. The other one, wasn't it? That was 5.5. And now you've got to get the bottom in. We're really learning that now, aren't we? I keep saying to her, when she stands there talking like, the anything beer. that is unfiltered, anything that's unfiltered, you want so to important. really get that bottom bit in, that lovely bit of flavour that's going to be collecting at the bottom there, that bit of sediment, you want that in there. Yeah, it, it makes all the difference. I just had a lovely bit of sediment out of you to love then. Trust me, <laughs> and we got it in this time. Oh, I can smell pineapple. <laughs> yeah. So, you want to show them that and that? I've got the phone ready for a picture. This smells good. <laughs> so, there we have it. Those of you with the arachnophobia probably won't like this can. I'm kind of loving it, I think that's cool. What is it? On it? A spider. Oh. <laughs> and there we have this. A spider? That's a lovely, hazy, orangey colour. Great, um, yeah. great foamy head on there. I don't like spiders myself, but don't mind me. But yeah, Wiper and True, another excellent addition. I learnt about them because of Brewster. Everyone was going mad about the birthday pack. I had to get a bit of it. I'd already ordered two lots of Brewster, so I had to go and buy direct, didn't I? But it was a bonus because I got the glasses. So yeah, give that a shot because wow, that wow. is sounding. This smells really, really great. I can smell the pineapple just a mile off. I mean, I like pineapple, so that helps. Mm, but is it but a it margarita actually, twist? It really smells like real pineapple. Interesting. Um, I'm a little bit low on there. Maybe a little bit vanilla. My one worry is this might be a little bit sweet because it is kicking off sweet vibes from the aroma. <laughs> it's just mad it's pineapple coming through and a sour kick what? it's just absolutely mad it's so different <laughs> to what you think isn't it yeah tell them that one explain that one okay your grammar school right i have to start off with the carbonation there's medium carbonation this is giving that hit of sour to your mouth an additional kick 
<laughs> you are getting the pineapple. <laughs> you are getting tropical notes in there. Yeah, kind of like but a margarita. But the sour is, yeah. is really kicking you. The sour kick is crazy because it's the, the pineapple's still coming through as you're getting the sour, if that makes sense. The aftertaste on this, and this is where, I'm going to have to read this out what I read on the internet. I am getting a kind of biscuity um, cookie dough kind of aftertaste on this. Do you know what I mean by that? That's absolutely How lovely, odd is that? To have that fruit flavours, yep. a is... sour burst, and then the aftertaste be like cookie dough in my mouth. How odd is that? This is a cracker, isn't it? This is good. Yep, I agree. I'm, I'm with her when you said that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by that? I, I know it sounds really odd, but we were looking this up, this style, and it says a Gos beer is referred to as an unfiltered wheat beer with 50 to 60 percent malted wheat. It provides a cloudy youngness and refreshing crispness and twang. Okay. You've got the twang, definitely. By definition, a Gos is a German style unfiltered sour wheat beer with both coriander and sea salt added. It creates a balance of lemon sour notes and earthy hibiscus flavours. Yeah. This was a new concept for me. I did. I didn't really understand what it was. Well, we'll Having tasted times, it, we, it so makes sense. It really does. And I think that kind of that it, saltiness. It's just mad, though, isn't it? Because yeah. you're getting the right. You're getting that pineapple burst because mm. it's lovely as it's going through. But then the sour's hitting you really as the pineapple's itchy. still hitting you. If it makes sense. Normally you just get this mad sour, but you're still getting the pineapple and everything coming through at you when you're getting the, if that makes sense, no, no, it doesn't make sense, does it? But it's, it's get, absolutely brilliant. You're getting the pineapple, you're getting the sourness, you're getting that kind of, that is a kind of a salty taste in the, mid yeah. in the middle, and then you're left with that biscuity taste at the end. That's really quite strange. <laughs> altogether really lovely as well unfiltered oh uh, this brewery this brewery's working for us isn't it well, this is three out of three now isn't it we you discovered say, yeah go on i'll let you finish we discovered two new ones oh sorry i discovered two new ones mm -hmm. and um so far they've both been absolute crackers i have to give paul's um credit and his due on this when it comes to finding new breweries to discovering new styles beers Paul's the one who does this. He sits there researching it, looking for it, finding all the different stuff that we get to try. So credit for that has to go to Paul. Because it could, do you know what got me with this brewery? We know what got me with the East London ones, but one of their drinks was called Kaleidoscope. And what was it all about? Lucy in the Sky, Lucy in the with, sky diamonds. with Diamonds. John Lennon, 1967 <laughs> with the Beatles, as a lot of you will know. So that's why I chose this brewery, because it was called Kaleidoscope. We still haven't tried that drink yet. No, we haven't. We've been doing the sour and the birthday ones, but... For me, this particular beer is just totally, totally unique. It's so complex with the different flavours that are in there. Does it work? Yes, it yeah, does. definitely. <laughs> this is a <laughs> cracker. We've got three or four of these, you know, as well. It's absolutely superb in its uniqueness and it's kind of madness. It feels a little bit mad having all those flavours together. But it's working, yeah. 100%. It was only £3 something for the can. It's an absolute steal. Mm. It's UK brewed. It's, they're from Bristol. I don't know a thousand things about these, I must admit. But I've put up an unboxing and everyone that's tried these are made up with them. Other beer reviewers like Simo, uh, Baza, Simo Sups, all the beer, no idea, have both come forward. They've had these as well and spoke really highly of them. Another reviewer did, and yeah, they're top draw. Yeah, this is a really unique experience. I can't liken this beer to anything else I've tried. Um, but you are getting all those flavours in there. You are getting that pineapple, you're getting that um, sour burst saltiness yeah i mean at the cookie dough kind of ending which is just mad i would say to try it you're either going to love it or ha hate it i think it could be a marmite experience yeah, for some people it's unique but it's just mm. showing that this brewery know what they're doing yeah to pull that off wow third one you know third yeah. one all been yeses all day long um 
I love this. This for me is it's weird, it's wacky, it's unique, and it is brilliant. Wow. This is going to get her right my beard, 10 out of 10. Wow. Oh, okay. Now I've gone big on a lot of them. They've been brilliant beers, but just for the pure, unique wackiness of it, I've never tried anything like this, and I love it. The flavours are brilliant. Yeah, it's getting a 10. Okay, that's a fair <laughs> comment. For me, I'm oh, sorry, they're going to hate me, aren't they? What I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for me, it's a solid eight. Um, but it's great. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm just not as up with Michelle yeah, with the numbers I'm, today. I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say that everyone's gonna love this because it's such a unique experience, such a, a mad kind of combination of flavors. Some people love it and I'm sure there are people out there that really hate it. Um, but yeah, for me, this is a really solid. solid if you job. remember, I spoke to you about this mm. just when you came out of hospital. Yeah. And you were lying there, and, and I was going, look, look, this beer, that and beer. He, he was all excited. It was really hard for me to take on board what he was saying. But now I'm I was trying to better. Cheer, I was trying to cheer her up, you see, for when we got home. When mm -hmm. all these would be arriving, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. If you remember. Jesus, we spent, I don't think anyone could spend as much money as I did sat in a hotel room. <laughs> but never mind. It's all proving worth it. So, a definite yes from both of us. Yeah, guys, you, you, you've hit the nail on the head for me with this beer. It's brilliant. And eight. <laughs> And a 10. What can I say? Keep up the good work. Bonjour.